Okay, there's the Fairy Peak game, or the first one of the Fairy Peak games, so we're, we're ready to get started on that. In best of five and best of seven series, Fairy Peak has, I believe, never lost to Scrub Killer. You'd have to ask them to confirm that 100%, but at least on my stream, they've never, or Fairy's never lost to Scrub in a series at all. I'll probably just play the games all the way through and talk about them as I go, and I'll, I'll let you guys know uh, my thoughts about the playstyles, what's happening, um, and various things like that. So let's just let's just get into it. Let's get into Fairy Peak versus Scrub Killer. Scrub Scrub's already told me what the final score was, but I could leave it there for you guys. I'm gonna press play here. I've seen this game before. This first this first game. I have not seen the other. I believe five games which occur. If you want to watch these without me, then check out twitch.tv forward slash Scrub. It's just Scrub now. Uh, he changed his Twitch URL from Scrub Scrub Killer RL underscore. I think he used to be. So twitch.tv forward slash scrub if you want to watch these uh, with Scrub Killer's audio. So it's going to be this very quiet music in the background here while we while we do this. I think we did the same thing while we were on, um, while we were doing the Squishy versus Scrub review. But that was Squishy stream. I'm, I'm, I imagine that you guys want me to leave Scrub Killer's face cam over there just so you can see his reactions to it. I would fully, I would recommend that you go and watch his stream of this. Uh, even if you intend to watch my video here or intend to watch my stream video on demand whatever wherever you're watching this if you fully intend to watch this start to finish there's going to be six games um then even after that i encourage you to go watch scrub streams it's very funny he he does add a lot to the uh to the games in terms of noise and um just entertainment i guess it's really really good stuff who's server painter thanks for the uh prime sub i just spilt coffee on myself hopefully nobody saw that <laughs> I'm completely incompetent. That's that sub site, by the way. Uh, the sub goal over there is is it over this side or this side? I'm not, I can't remember which side it is, but um, it's uh, Scrub sub goal. If you want to help him reach his 700 sub goal, go sub to his channel as well. You can help him reach that 700. I think he's been at 700 before, but he's trying to get it a second time or a third time. I don't know. He's 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 had it. I think he's had it before, but he's trying to get it again. Now you'll notice for the first minute of this game, Scrub's pretty much been inside his own half, trying to exert ball pressure, even though Fairy's had the uh, boost advantage for almost the entire time. Sometimes they've been even on boost, um, but that's usually as a shot's about to come in. Fairy Peak sometimes allows Scrub to pick up boost because he is anticipating a really big shot opportunity. Whoa! Mechanus, what on earth? I don't know if Brian even said anything. I didn't hear it, but thanks to the hundred pounds, this man's never gonna stop. I swear, every time I stream, it's just like boom, boom, boom. Um, I don't know what to say, dude. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate that. That's absolutely ridiculous. I absolutely messed up my OBS. I don't think I did. If this looks like it's glitching, it's actually Scrub's video. It's not my video. Um, so apologies for that. <laughs> Scrub keeps <laughs> It was a hundred pounds, Jesse. Don't get them confused. I don't think it's my OBS. I'm pretty sure that uh, my OBS is fine. I've dropped zero frames since we started this. Yeah, we're good. Um, so if you see any sort of lag or low FPS, this is also 720p, I think. Is it 720p, 60fps or 30? Yeah, I can't remember what uh, quality Scrub streams in. But the video that I'm currently watching on my stream is, I believe, lower quality than my stream usually runs at. So that's why you're going to see a couple of glitches here and there. That's a little bit unfortunate, the way the ball bounced off that wall there. Scrub would have probably had a goal if it uh, just stuck to the wall. I'm sure you could have dished it in, uh, but it kicked off. Now, Fairy Peak's been really, really good up until this point at just keeping the ball out of Scrub's reach. He's just trying to play a controlled game, and Fairy Peak can do that. Sometimes he um, he just peppers shots at you, but versus, versus Scrub, he knows that Scrub's got a good goalkeeping style. In the Batmobile, especially, um, he's not. This is see that that right there is what Fairy Peak does against some players. He just takes shots, and then he relies on the other players' boost management being bad enough for him to eventually break them down. But Scrub Kill has actually got pretty good boost management on uh, in defense when he doesn't have a hundred boost available. So he's so he's actually able to get a goal out of this. Both the goals that Scrub has scored have been big misplays by Fairy Peak, though unforced uh, errors, really really big mistakes. I am 
I'm gonna say uh, since we're still in game one here before everybody leaves because it's a re because it's a review and it isn't live. I know I really know that Scrub does want to beat Fairy Peak in a in an official series. He's never done it before. Um, but uh, when this series started, I was listening to the or this game rather started. I was listening to Scrub's stream audio and he said that he never loses to Fairy Peak in ranked. Um, and you know Scrub's not delusional. He knows that Fairy Peak always beats him in series. But this isn't a series, this is ranked, and Scrub feels like he's uh, the favorite here. That's a big part of any competitive game, any competitive sport, especially Rocket League 1v1. You need to just believe that you can win. I almost right-clicked on my mouse there to skip the replay. I thought it was me, but it wasn't. It's actually, <laughs> it's actually just them. Hands off the mouse, Johnny. Keep it off the mouse. Um, Pro make music, refresh your stream, refresh your page, and then you might get a share button at the top of the chat. That's probably what it is. Okay, I remember this. So at this point, Scrub, I believe, said, why is Fairy Peak up for this? Well, the reason is because Fairy Peak knew Scrub is at a boost or low on boost. And that's what's been happening to Scrub the entire game so far, is he's been, you know, trying to pressure the ball, trying to um, force Fairy, Fairy Peak to make touches exactly like this one, um, and then retake possession. After the fact, he just narrowly escaped a demo there. That would have been a goal for Fairy if Fairy was a little bit quicker um, off the mark. Fairy Peak's exerting a huge amount of pressure on Scrub, though. So many boost steals. And he just he never goes back into his half. He turns around at the halfway line, steals the boost, and then just gets ready for another shot. Scrub's trying to grab little pads wherever he can while mixing up his defense. A big part of what Scrub's doing right now is actually being unpredictable. See that? He's not... He doesn't want to commit to any challenges because he knows the second he does, Fairy Peak's going to make a touch on the ball. Fairy Peak's trying to do that right now, though. He's trying to get Scrub to commit to a challenge so he can make any touch on the ball, take it away from where Scrub is challenging. Um, but Scrub just sits back and waits. He's saying, listen, I'm not interested in challenging the ball. I know you're going to make some sort of silly touch on it and keep it away from me. Um, but good game so far for Scrub. He's been very good defensively it's an excellent pre-jump save by fairy all right scrub looks like he should have been able to score that he could have flipped into the ball to try and shoot it um of course he was worried about um just missing the shot off the post and allowing fairy peak a quick counter now notice another thing scrub's done very well this game is using the uh camera look down feature uh or the camera look down on his right joystick he did it there to keep an eye on what fairy peak was doing underneath him didn't work out very well because Fairy Peak did a really good job getting that ball to bounce off the sidewall. He saw that Scrub was looking for a pinch clear, blocked it straight into the sidewall, and uh, that pretty much centered it for himself. Again, Scrub playing with fire. That was really, really close to a demo on the wall but, uh, for Fairy. Really, really close stuff. This is ranked, by the way. Did I mention that? This is ranked gameplay. Ranked 1v1. So there you go. Scrub just got Fairy Peak's ranked points. Uh, <laughs> reported the server <laughs> and leaves <laughs> the classic but yeah that was ranked 1v1 just out of nowhere I think uh, Fairy Peak sniped Scrub this Fairy does uh, chill out in Twitch chat quite a lot all day so it looks like Scrub managed to get 8 points for that win Fairy Peak probably it looks like they might have just swapped places 4th and 7th in the leaderboard but what we're going to do now is skip ahead because um, Scrub got a 2v2 game He's queuing up lots of ranked games. He's not just queuing up 1v1. Uh, then he got Professor in 1v1. Oh, here it is. Looks like he won Your that one. Was covering oh, the no, he lost. Johnny. Okay, so Scrub lost a game here. It's a Professor. Uh, then he got Lower Lee. He usually beats Lower Lee. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, Scrub looks like he wins this. Yep, Scrub beat Lower Lee by a single goal. A lot of very high rated ones players sniping Scrub while he plays. Or just queuing into him. So he beat Lower Lee again. I put him up to 5th place in the leaderboard there. Oh, there you go. Pro make music. You did it. You got the refresh button and uh, found the uh, found the resub. Oh my goodness. Did I say thanks to who's server, who's server painter, by the way, for the prime sub? I think I totally forgot that. Um, I must have been distracted. I hope you're still here. Because I do appreciate that a lot. So another game versus Lower Lee. Um, which Scrub wins. That's three wins against Laura Lee between the Fairy Peak games. And now we finally get into the second game against Fairy Peak. We're only going to be looking at these ones uh, today. Oh yeah, change the series score. Thank you. I will do that. Now, remember, it's not a series. This is just ranked. And in ranked, every single game 
is uh is just that it's just a one game one game at a time but let's get into game two here and see uh see what happens very big got his points back by the way notice that scrub lost one game and then won three in uh 1v1 ranked since his last game against fairy where he took fairy's points but it looks like fairy peak might have won four games or maybe even five because of course scrub got that 2v2 game as well now for the time being um kickoffs have been going not really really badly for either player which is expected in scrub killer versus fairy these guys are both extremely consistent with their kickoffs when fairy peak does win the kickoff what you'll usually see is uh pressure he's going to try and squeeze uh the ball into scrub killer's end gain some territory steal some boost and then do it again look what he's done there he's just exerted some pressure taking scrub's boost and now scrub killer's in a really awkward spot he might just snip into the corner and take this boost again now scrub's beating him to it fairy peak sneaking a shot in instead i do think fairy peak had an option there to go for a demolish or a boost grab in the back corner instead he snuck a shot in that's a really good uh sneaky goal by scrub it looks like fairy peak was expecting scrub to go up the wall he um didn't challenge as quick as he could there even in even fairy peak can't stop scrub killer from scoring kickoff goals at times so there's uh, this is exactly what fairy peak's been trying to do all series long we might actually rewind to watch this again if they don't okay let, oh, how do i rewind on this back 10 back 10 more okay observe this uh play by fairy this is very, very much what he's been trying to do. He's just waiting. Okay, I see you coming in. Now I'm going to take the ball past you. Doesn't matter if it goes in with the first touch. I've got a lot of time, uh, a lot of alone time with the ball now. He's That's what he's been doing the, the entire six minutes of gameplay that we've watched so far. Just playing keep away. A very, very valid strategy. Even up to the highest rank. Phil sucks oh, at Rocket League. It's a great shot by Fairy. Don't let this distract you from the fact that in 1966, Al Bundy scored four touchdowns in a single game while playing for the Polk High really School shot. Panthers in the 1966 I don't know anything City about Championship this, Brian. game versus Andrew Johnson High School. All right, no, I said this earlier, but I'll say it again. I've actually not watched this game, or the all the ones that will follow. So this is all new. That's a really good recovery by Scrub Killer. But two of the goals this game, one for Scrub, one for Fairy, have come at the hands of um, lack of respect. You could say, oh, was that a bump? I have to go see this again. Did Scrub Killer get any contact onto Fairy Peak here? Fairy Peak was probably aware that Scrub Killer was up for this. He would have heard Scrub's jump. Doesn't look like Scrub made any contact. I'm not 100% sure, though. It's hard to tell these days with how um, weird the servers are. I don't think Scrub actually made any contact. That's just an open net miss by Fairy. Very unusual. But again, Scrub Killer stuck as the defensive player with not much boost. And Fairy Peak is making this really awkward for him. Fairy Peak's very afraid to pull the trigger, though, a lot of the time. He could have ripped a shot top corner there. And it would have been most likely a goal, I would say. But he wants to score into Scrub when Scrub has no boost, it seems. He's just going for this... Uh, sort of constrictor style he's very much just waiting until scrub has absolutely no response whatsoever there would have been a response to the previous shot and that is a pre-jump uh or the previous shot opportunity that flick though had uh, almost no response from scrub because he was so um boost starved aerial shot by scrub into the crossbar could have gone for a bump maybe if he just delayed his approach a little bit he's going for speed fairy peaks quick to react though Fairy Peak Fairy is a living proof that you don't need to be uh, 12 to have incredibly fast reactions in Rocket League. I don't know if his reactions are just game knowledge, awareness. All right, can Scrub get the tight angle shot? Yes, he can. It's really small margins when these guys play. There's such a tight opening uh, that you can score with. And that's what separates these guys from, uh, you know, top 100 players who are unable to make the top 10 or... Uh, take a game or a series off Fairy Peak or Scrub in the long run being able to hit those shots when they count Fairy Peak just dodged the wrong way the here German didn't he? game. yeah Fairy Peak just completely beamed that I didn't watch the game actually I was out um, didn't get a chance to watch it but I saw the I saw the last goal that's incredible stuff Germany versus Sweden World Cup if anybody's wondering what we're talking about 
And Fairy Peak. Oh, that's a little bit unfortunate for Fairy. He's done a reasonable job recovering and Scrubs should have probably scored with this touch. Let's watch this again. This is a little bit unfortunate. So again, Fairy Peak takes control, takes 100 boost. Scrub Killer. Um, he's got a couple of options here. So Scrub could stick close to Fairy in this sort of area. Um, exert more ball pressure and force Fairy into an earlier flick. Or at least uh, try to trick Fairy into shooting earlier. But instead, this time he's backed off for 100 boost. And this is the trade-off that Fairy Peak makes you uh, choose. He says, okay, you can either pressure me or take 100 boost. Choose one. And this time Scrub's gone for 100 boost. And so now he can't really pressure this flick. So Fairy Peak is able to move much closer before flicking. And Scrub Killer is really far off here. And yeah, Fairy Peak didn't read that. If Fairy Peak had read that this ball was bouncing bar down, um, he would have actually been able to just score. Scrub also, I think, could have scored with that touch. If he shot with a bit more power. So both players definitely missing opportunities there. Oh, no way. It's Fairy Peak actually, Fairy Peak's actually getting away there. That was about as close as you can get to being demoed without actually dying. Man, Fairy Peak is so afraid to pull the trigger. So so afraid slash so patient, whatever you want to call it. He really is not making a lot of proactive plays uh, in this in this match or the last one. Like this is a position where Fairy Peak is so so favored to score, so favored. But the, well, he, he's kind of screwed up because he just dribbles straight at Scrub Killer. This is a huge advantage though. Fairy Peak is a hundred boost. Scrub has zero. And Scrub Killer is dodging away right now because he knows if Fairy Peak shoots with this... Uh, oh, I went back 10 seconds. I didn't mean to. Sorry about that. Um, where was it? Where were we? Oh, for Christ's sake, I've lost where we were. Where were we, boys? I'm just going to... Okay, we were after this. Uh, then, yeah, here we are. Okay. Try not click the wrong button. Scrub knows if Fairy Peak just shoots on that bounce, it will go in if he doesn't dodge to gain some momentum and get away for it to grab some boost. Uh, but in doing so, now he's not exerting any pressure on the ball. But Fairy Peak's, I think, made a big misplay here. Um, he should have probably dribbled straight at Scrub, or even better, across the midfield. He should have crossed over this midfield, or not the midfield line, because that's obviously the line that splits blue half and orange half. Um, but he should have got over to the right-hand side. Probably with a bounce dribble. And then he could be um, either shooting on a bounce around about this area, or faking a shot in around about this area and actually shooting over here, or continuing to fake and shooting over here. You get what I mean. He should just be dribbling the ball uh, away from Scrub Killer. Instead, he just goes straight at the goal. And now, even if he... Like, he's lining up a side flip shot here. But Scrub knows, even if you shoot that, it's not going to go in. It's going to miss. Like, if, he, if Fairy Peak shoots this ball, it's going to miss the goal. Um, because the ball's already going on target. If you re-angle it, it's now off target. And that's why we see Scrub Killer just go for the ball My here. My internet went nuts and Fairy I'm Peak still really watching up. the stream in 160p. The ball is literally square. That's how much I love you, Johnny. Bro, make music. I appreciate that. Uh, thanks for 250 bits. TJ Blizzy, thanks for 300. And Santa Lahe, thanks for the 500. I do appreciate the support, guys. Let me just talk while this game continues about that uh, dribbling strat a little bit more. Something I've really come to, is, you know, I've really realized it so much after casting a ton of North American 1v1s. Because American players love to uh, ball carry and flick. They, they just love that. Ball carries, flicks, fakes. That's pretty much the, the majority of the NA metagame. And I noticed that the players who are willing to uh, switch over from right to left or from left to right have a lot more success with um, actually getting the ball past the goalkeeper. Um, and it's pretty much because you force the goalkeeper to challenge. Whereas if you just go s straight at the near post or straight at the enemy goal, the goalkeeper could just react to what you're doing. He doesn't need to challenge. He can just wait and see what you're doing because you're both moving together. Scrub Kill is really struggling with Fairy Peak's uh, kickoff today. He's not losing kickoff goals, but he's losing kickoff possessions. And I mean, this is an extended kickoff goal, really. Because again, Fairy Peak is 
putting Scrub in that difficult position where he says, okay, you can either have 100 boost or you can challenge. Pick one. You can't have both. And Scrub went for 100 boost again. Because he's been... Oh, wow. Scrub's going to be tilted after that one. It's one thing to lose goals from just kickoff possession. It's another to just lose from a dead ball double 50-50 situation not going in your way. It's pretty mean. But Fairy Peak, he'll, he'll take those. Look at that, though. Scrub was up by a goal. And now he's down by two. One goal and two kickoff goals. Fairy Peak's going to make it another one as well. Again, Scrub can't get anything working on his kickoff. If I went back and looked at every single kickoff that Scrub is doing here, uh, we can maybe figure out why he's losing him. He's 100% he's just going for a block kickoff now. He's conceded. Uh, he's, he's decided I'm not going to beat Fairy's kickoff. Let's just keep it safe. Pretty exquisite touch there, though, um, to keep the ball away from Fairy. Nice shot as well. Scrub not out of this game just yet. Uh, yeah, the, the Octane hitbox is being used more than anything else because it's the most popular car. All right, come on now, Scrub. This is a little bit... Oh, well, that's, that's some tilt right there. I was going to say... Like, Scrub should know this is not a position that he's beating Fairy to the ball. He's got 11 boost. If he had more boost, he could, he could beat Fairy to the ball here because he landed better. Um... But yeah, Scrub knows that this is not a position he can beat Fairy to the ball. And he goes for it anyway. And then forfeits early. He just wants another game. He's had enough of Fairy Peak on this map. I don't, I've not actually watched uh, Scrub's stream for this one. So we've not... Uh, I can't tell you if that is tilt about the map or tilt about Fairy. But looks like Scrub just wanted to restart. He's going to try and actually win some kickoffs this game. There we go. There's one. The good old uh, Scrub Killer Hook. It was a hook kickoff, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, the classic. The classic scrub killer hook. Um, Rockily Crisp, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. We'll see. We will see. All right, what's Scrub going to do this time? To be honest, I would hook again. He's pushed it. Okay, fair enough. That's actually worked out really well. Oof, we squeezed it in. What did Fairy Peak do? This is like a game of... It's like a mini game inside a 1v1. This is Fairy Peak trying to do the same thing but he didn't do it very well this time it's a mini game inside oh yeah change score thanks guys i will do that right now it's a mini game inside of an actual rocket league 1v1 is the kickoff and it's so fascinating to watch two identical cars from two world-class players going up against each other that something i will say about scrub is he um he could definitely mix up fakes and um, delayed kickoffs into his game a little bit more. I don't know if it's just a pride thing um, where he thinks that he's got the best kickoff in the world because he did. He used to have the best kickoff by miles. Scrub's kickoff was completely dominant um, two years ago in 1v1. And now perhaps he's thinking um, Yeah, why can't I just go back to that where I was the dominant kickoff man? Fair peak again, very linear dribbling. It's uh, not not the most reliable line of attack there. Straight at the enemy goal. Takes away a lot of options, as we can see. The ball is getting rounder. Pro make music. I'm glad to, glad to hear that. Who do I think Scrub will play with? Well, I'm not going to talk about that because people will think I know more than I do when I actually don't. Yeah, like I was saying, I would love to see Scrub use uh, fake kickoffs a bit more. He never practices them at all in once. I think it's a weakness in his game. Needs to get those fake kickoffs. Convincing fake kickoffs on the diagonal spawn. Actually convincing fake kickoffs. That's uh, something he needs to practice. For sure. Is there a better kickoff than Scrub's? Well, Fairy Peak in the previous game to this one dominated kickoffs pretty hard. Scrub's trying to mix it up. You can see on the uh, slight offset spawn, he's pushing the ball. On the diagonal spawn, he's hooking the ball. And on the straight spawn, he's just seeing how he lands and playing it. <laughs> he's playing it towards uh, whichever way seems better at the time. Volpe's, I don't know what the reason for this name is, but that it, it is Fairy Peak, I can guarantee you. Man, Scrub is just crushing Fairy in this game. It's just, this looks like the game that Scrub Killer finally managed to get boost. And uh, Fairy Peak's not quite ready for it. He's been playing against a boost denied scrub for every game before this. Well, both of the games before this. 
I think he forgot how annoying it can be to play against Scrub. If Scrub actually does have boost, he's looking for the flip reset there, wasn't able to get it. That's a really good 50-50 by Fairy. This is such a dangerous thing to go up against. Look at this. Scrub's even going to watch it again. Fairy Peak, even in the Batmobile, he can, he can do that. That's pretty crazy, actually. Just makes it look as if he's going to side flip shoot the ball. Um, but instead, backs away and lets Scrub hit it into him so he can get a free shot. Followed by a kickoff goal. Yeah, Volpe, I mean, I figured it would be a fox because his profile picture is a fox, or at least looks like a fox. Okay, so Scrub Kill is going to go off the wall. Oh, wow. Fairy Peak looks like, he, looks like he must have missed a boost or something here. What happened to Fairy Peak? Scrub's going to check. Yeah, Fairy Peak just missed a boost. Most of the time in that position, Scrub likes to get above the ball, cut it infield, and then dribble. Um, but he's decided not to there because the ball was... Bouncing up a little bit too high. It was going to be awkward. Again, Fairy, Fairy Peak is so linear in this game. This is very unusual. Good demo by Scrub as well. This is uh, not the best game for Fairy at all. 7-2. There's only, only two minutes into the game. This is ridiculous. Did I say, by the way, thanks to Midnight Society for the Prime sub. I keep on forgetting to thank subs immediately because I'm in the middle of a train of thought. Hopefully you're still around, dude. Because I do appreciate that a lot. Another failed dribble by Fairy. Is Fairy gonna is Fairy just gonna leave this game? I don't think so. I don't think so, but this looks already over. This is crazy. 8-2. Not even half the game. This is pretty interesting for Scrub though. He's not doing um his octane kickoff at all. Sometimes. What a read by Scrub. Almost no boost off the back wall, but he gets it. Give your free money back. Sorry, Midnight Society. I'll try my best. Another great save by Scrub, and he recovers well. Even if Fairy did shoot that on target, Scrub looks like he was ready for it. Um, I was going to say, though, this, this sort of um, single jump block kickoff that Scrub's been doing a few times, it... Um, whoa, okay. Fairy Peak, calm down. If that had gone in... It looks like it's something that would be better in the Batmobile. Johnny. It really does. I wish you the best of luck with all the money I have given you and will Mate. give you in the future. Be sure to take care of your big nose with it XT. I'll try my best. Thank you so much, Salazar, for the tier three two months in a row. I appreciate that a lot. That'll be a second uh, tier three review, I'm sure. Welcome back, man. Look at that pathing by Scrub straight over the boost pads. And this time he snuffs out the Fairy Peak low 50-50. Fairy Peak has changed up his pace. I don't know if you guys noticed this. You probably did, most of you. Um, but Fairy Peak is so good at uh, playing differently based on how long is left in the game. I think he might be still dribbling a little bit too straight. I would like to see Fairy Peak dribbling um, zigzag. Or at least, you know, wide of the goal and then taking shots instead of this very, like, straight towards the center of the goal dribbling approach that he keeps on doing. Because it's not working at all. Uh, but what he is doing a lot better is he's forcing the issue. Look how many shots both players are getting with this play style compared to game one. Game one, Fairy Peak's playing very slow. He's playing very controlled. He's waiting for Scrub Killer to be completely out of the game before um, he takes shots. Now he's just playing at a million miles an hour. There's been 21 shots this game. Uh, that's what you have to do if you're losing by six goals with two minutes and 40 seconds left. You need to try and um, play quicker. Good save by Scrub. As close as the Fairy's come though to scoring and it was with a zigzag dribble. I think that's definitely the solution. <laughs> what a mind game by Fairy there. The Scrub looks a little bit um, annoyed at this one. Surely he'll get across the finish line though. Looking back at the 2v2 tournament match that you and the car lost in EU service, realized we may have uh, helped me. I realized what may have helped me win uh, laggy 50/50s, perhaps uh, an enlargement, of a certain facial feature. Maybe you would know, Gumby. Yeah, it does help you win 50/50s when the nose of your car is absolutely ginormous, like the Batmobile. Very, very wide nose. That's why the block kickoff does work pretty well in the Batmobile. You know, if that shot wasn't absolutely. Um, bar and straight down and I think Scrub was saving it. He did get up very fast. 
excellent game for a scrub killer. Fairy Peak's not going to put it in for him to make it 10. Or was it 10? No, I think it was 9. 9-2, nine right? 9-3, actually. I love the... Um, the... Uh, change of pace from Fairy Peak, but I do not like the uh, dribbling approach at all. He's uh, he's way too linear in these games. Way, way too linear. Let's see if he can do better on the um, whatever this map's called, the, the sandy one. He's got to dribble in a bit more with zigzag style. See exactly what Scrub is doing there. He's Let's, let's just watch this. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is what Fairy Peak has not been doing. Um, and you could do this with uh, a ball carry, you could do it with a bounce dribble, you could do it with uh, a rolling ball, you could do it with any of the above. Um, look at that, that line by Scrub is taking the ball away from from the goal. Like If Scrub doesn't flick this, it's not going in. It's He's taking it wide of the net, he's dribbling wide. Um, and at some point, he's going to change the direction of the ball to put it into the goal. Fairy Peak doesn't know when that is. And that's what makes this line of attack so dangerous. If you just dribble straight at the enemy goal, then all the other player has to do is get between you and the goal and drive into the ball. Because at some point, uh, you've got to then either perfectly hit the shot to just squeeze it past them and also squeeze it into the net. Or... Uh, go for a low 50-50 as people all, always do these days. Or like flick it straight up in the air and wait for the challenge to be past you. This is um, this is exactly what Fairy Peak needs to do if he if he wants to have more success in his dribbling in these games. Looks like Fairy Peak might be having some red lag thing. I don't know what that means. Did I make it 2-1 for Scrub? I think I did. In OBS. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, I don't know if Fairy Peak expected Scrub to be up that early. A little bit ambitious. Notice uh, Scrub could have just driven there and then jumped at the last second. You could save and recovery. Man, the pre-jumps by Scrub are just way too early. I don't know why he's doing this. This is, this is so unnecessary. He did not need to pre-jump this. Um... I mean, I get that he's trying to get a huge win there. But with a 1-0 lead already in the bag, I'm not sure if that was a good idea. Should probably just stay, stay back. Fairy Peak had no momentum. He should just chill. Wait and see what Fairy's going to do. The Lenny pre-jump. I know, right? That was just Lenny levels of pre-jump right there. Okay, now look at the difference. Do you guys see the difference that we're, that we're uh, observing here? I think Fairy Peak's already figured out. Um, I mean, obviously, this is a video, so Fairy Peak can't listen to what we're what we're talking about here and adapt. This is his on-the-fly adaptation, and you can already see how how much more dangerous this dribble looks than the previous one. It doesn't go in; it doesn't result in a goal, but that doesn't that also doesn't mean that it's a bad um, idea. Do you, do you guys see what I mean? This is such a difficult position for Scrub to challenge. Very, very difficult. That's why Scrub doesn't challenge because he doesn't uh, have a good time and fairy peak actually if he had boomed that ball top corner i don't think scrub was saving it that was going to be too much to ask for even a goalkeeper of scrub's level uh to save without a pre-jump that just shows you the difference that you get when you dribble away from the net instead of straight towards it straight towards the middle of the goal scrub waiting for the bounce there trying to time his arrival catch the ball on the wall a little bit of a battle to secure possession and finally, Scrub gets a demo from behind. He's been pretty good at noticing when those opportunities arise. Okay, now Scrub just dribbled straight at the goal, but I don't think he meant to. Pretty sure that was a mishit touch. Interesting. So Scrub looking to go underneath Fairy. Could have dodged into that um, much earlier, but he was afraid to in case he mishit the shot and uh, Fairy Peak just took control and scored. Alright, so Fairy Peak backs off. And Scrub spotted the back off. So Scrub, um, I think we'd have had more success with a reverse 45 degree flick here. This is, with this sort of um, line, I think shooting to the top left is, is going to be a bit better than shooting straight uh, down the middle. And you can do that by just backflip or reverse 45 degree flicking it up here. It's a bit harder to save. Um, I mean, this isn't a bad position for Scrub at all. He's got the boost. He's got the ball. He's not going to be disappointed about this. 
the pace of the game has really increased since uh, or compared to game one which was super slow you still have to watch out for those low 50 50s by fairy he's baiting flicks you see that fairy's just making it look like he's gonna flick the ball making it look like he's gonna cut underneath the ball and uh, do something to it and what that does is it gets scrubbed to go higher into the challenge than he should be uh, going that's actually a really good shot by scrub it's hit the crossbar <laughs> that's pretty uh pretty crazy if you're wondering how there was so much power there oh <laughs> i do love that reaction by scrub looked like he got scammed it did look like he got scammed. I mean, on the replay, he didn't get scammed. Could Scrub have gone for a demo gear? This entire play was uh, quite interesting, in fact. So Scrub drives underneath the ball and then flips into it to hit it with the back end of his car. Uh, just for additional height on the, the shot. Make it a bit more awkward for Fairy. See, I wish I could play the audio for Scrub Stream here, but I, it'll mute the VOD and then nobody can watch the watch if they're not watching live. So, if you want to see, see that again, just go to twitch.tv forward slash Scrub. Look at his latest video. Pretty funny. Celsius RL, thanks for three months in a row. I appreciate that. Welcome back, man. Well, I do wonder if um, Fairy Peak will ever go back to the, to the Octane for 1v1. So I love seeing the different styles of uh, Fairy Peak and the Octane and the Batmobile. Batmobile, he likes to keep the ball lower. He likes to play a bit more like Cuxer. Cuxer style of ones. But with Octane, he's just such a bully. He's probably the ultimate bully. Um, and we saw a bit of that in game one. We saw his Octane style of gameplay uh, combined with his Batmobile... Um, Offense. Oh, what a shot. Scrub killer again wants boost. Probably should be a bit more concerned about um, about the shot that's going to come any minute now, though. So when I say um, Fairy Peak's Octane style of 1v1, what I mean is refusing to let the ball le or let the opponent leave their half. That's pretty much whenever Fairy Peak plays the Octane, the other player can't leave their half. He just takes every 50-50. Um takes all the boost, beats people to the ball, and just bullies them. Now, uh, in the Batmobile, he could do that. Oh my days, what a save. How does, Fairy keep this? How does he keep this out? In the Batmobile, he does that, but he um, tries to completely outplay them. Okay, that's absurd. I need to pause this on the frame. How does he save this? What? Did that not just look like it was going in? I don't know how this didn't go in, to be honest. <laughs> Incredible save. But it looked like a goal, I'm not going to lie. This video is on Scrub Stream. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Scrub. I downloaded it using Twitch Leecher. It's uh, a very appropriately named program for downloading Twitch videos. I would recommend it, though, because Twitch videos um, are automatically deleted by Twitch 30 days after they're streamed. Um, this is just a, the video... Of, uh, scrub stream from today so if you want to get the video yourself get twitch leecher go to scrub stream and then download the latest video and you've got it do that with any um do that with any stream of course be careful don't like go and upload it because then obviously you're gonna get in trouble gotta ask for permission before you do anything like that can we rewatch that save i watched it like three times i think we watched it enough Okay, so is Fairy actually going to dribble off target this time? Nope. <laughs> he was almost, almost off target. I know Fairy Peak can do this. I've seen him do it before. Wow. Okay. That is an impressive dunk by Scrub. If he doesn't watch this in the replay, he doesn't watch it in the replay. Respect. Look at that block on the clear. Completely denying him with the largest side of the Batmobile. And he used the undercarriage there because he didn't want the ball to uh, go too far. If you use the undercarriage to block, it's l it's less likely to ricochet um, a significant distance. It's more likely to bounce off a wheel and not go anywhere. You know, fair play to Scrub. He's trying to get two goals in 30 seconds. I reckon to making a challenge there is, is fine. Um, the one thing I would say is his line of challenge is not that smart. He should probably... 
get a bit more goal side and then just bum rush the ball and hope for the best because you, you, you're probably not going to get a better chance than that uh, against Fairy Peak in 30 seconds or two better chances than that you know he needs to get a goal and you see what happens even if he does concede it's not the end of the world because it's a kickoff situation which is a bit more uh, volatile than um, the normal state of the game and now we've got a chance to get another strong kickoff possession so losing that goal for Scrub could have been what enabled him to get back into the game. Has to go off the wall here. That's smart. Fairy Peak is so quick to get up into the air. Scrub Killer was going to try and get one touch and then one more touch to surprise Fairy. But Fairy Peak was so quick that uh, neither of those touches mattered. And there's GG uh, for Scrub. Fairy Peak takes one more. So yeah, both players could actually play much better better scrub killer um mainly oh this is a different game <laughs> ibp Kronovi. So that's not Kronovi, i don't think nah that's no, not Kronovi. surely not wait i forgot to see how much ping Kronovi had Kr Krono wow so scrub lost this did he lose oh okay hold on a second okay this is a comeback we might as well watch this against ibp Kronovi and the paladin 12 seconds. Oof, well, that should have been a save. IBP Kronovi's really, uh, really flopped there. It was Ixo. Ah, okay, it's Ixo. It's definitely a European player. I can tell you that right now. Wow. Oh, wow. Well, Ixo should have saved one of those shots. Definitely. It's not even on zero seconds. There's a chance for Scrub to take it in normal time. This is Rocket League. Scrub nearly messed up his kickoff there. Good recovery though. He dodged to the left instead of diagonal dodge and it landed him in, the, in a weird position. That's why he oversteered. Not oversteered. That's why he steered a little bit harder to the right before impacting the ball. Scrub kept on saying I'm so sad right now. What, when the... When he was not playing Fairy Peak? Yeah. He definitely wanted more games against Fairy because they're two all right now so one more game against fairy would be the would be the best of five well let's watch who wins at scrub and Ixo in this game i don't know who wins i've not seen this good speed in the air by scrub that's one uh, one thing that he's got significantly uh in his favor over Ixo. is it aerial speed that should just be game Ixo's completely boost starved yep scrub kill has done it um and he said the gg before leaving so that's good to see. All right, now let's watch game five against Fairy Peak. Ixo tilts a lot this day. Yeah, Ixo's way down. If that's Ixo's main account, he's like miles down in the ranking. Okay. It's a bit fortunate for Scrub Killer to start off this game. Fairy Peak missed. What? Wait. <laughs> How is that not a demo? Uh, or on the wall? Man, it's so weird. The Batmobile just... It looks like it's got a bigger butt than this, you know? The butt of the Batmobile looks thicker right here. That looks like it could be a demo. That looks like it could be a demo. I guess Scrub wasn't going fast enough. Still though, um, decent recovery by Fairy Peak. Are you, what are you guys quoting? Violet Panda puts it a long way and it's almost there. Justin keeps alive, Topa Pulse are there, bounces up, energy still around. Justin's there for the shot, Justin! This is Rocket League! Yeah, that's good. Good stuff by Shogun and Carpet. All right, more Fairy Peak keep away. Uh, where he's just going to try and drain Scrub's boost. Scrub with another wicked pre-jump. I don't agree with this at all. Like, he's had such low success with the pre-jumps. I don't know why he keeps doing this. He was dealing with Fairy Peak's, um, you know, constrictor-style gameplay pretty well in game one. Uh, the games that Scrub's been losing have been primarily because he's been, uh, you know, losing too many... Too many kickoff goals by going for boost Violent Panda puts over ball. It a long way, and it's almost there. JSTN keeps it alive. Turbo Pulsar there. Bounces up. Energy still around. JSTN is there wow. for the shot. Very big in the pit maneuver. That's a goal. JSTNNNNN. The scrub could have scored here, actually. They did it. Rookie of the year. Pretty sure scrub could have scored the roundabout here. What do you guys think? Right here, I reckon that's just a yeah, it's just a goal if Scrub Killer just shoots it. 
on the first touch. He shouldn't try to control that. That should just be a shot. It should be one one uh, all. Instead, uh, Fairy Peak equalizes because Scrub Kill is afraid to shoot the open net from distance. Sakimasu, thanks for the two month in a row, by the way. Excellent rendition of the uh, final moments of the regular time in the RLCS Grand Final. Somebody should edit the Brian version over the actual match. Okay, <sighs> Scrub, actually, thank goodness he hit that open net. That would have been way too much tilt to come back from. So we. I think I think really for Scrub, the all he has to do um, in this series is mix up his kickoff a little bit more. That, that would be my number one advice. Stop pre-jumping so much. That's a really good flick, actually. It's a really good flick. I like that Scrub's watching this replay because he wants to see this again. This is fantastic. He boosted back down to the ground to get down quicker and squeezed it in off the post. Very nice. Fairy Peak was not showing much of his goal there. He was hiding a lot of it. There we go. Diagonal kickoff's not really been a problem too much. Me voice over the whole RLCS? I'd lose my voice. That would be the problem. Yeah. The other thing Scrub needs to do is stop going for boost when he feels like a shot could be coming. He doesn't like getting boost starved by Fairy Peak. And when Fairy Peak... Um, Boost starves you for, you know, an entire game and then the entire follow-up game. You're probably going to misplay by going for boost um, more often. But that doesn't make it okay. Obviously, he needs to try and be a bit more careful there. Fairy Peaks 50-50s are really, really solid as well. Let's see what happened here. It's all about the angle here. Fairy Peak is... Or Scrub Kill is thinking a bit too much about how to win this. Um, and he doesn't realize the threat of uh, the counter-attack goal because let's let's think about this situation okay this is a 50 50 where both players have 100 boost um therefore it's completely even playing field if fairy peak had no boost here my forehead is leaking oh dear sorry about that um if 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 this is a situation where fairy peak does not have 100 boost then sure scrub killer going for a 50 50 here where he's trying to neutralize the ball um, because that's what he's trying to do here. He's trying to keep the ball exactly here. He wants Fairy Peak to bounce off the ball, and then he's going to score. That's what he's thinking. All right, let's just win. Um, but I don't think that's a uh, safe strategy to go for at all here, because Fairy Peak has 100 boost. So if the ball actually bounces out anywhere except the one place that Scrub wants it to go, Fairy Peak can score. If it bounces uh, anywhere in the midfield, as you can see, Fairy Peak can chase it and get some pressure. So that's actually a failure on Scrub's part to identify the uh, the threat. Despite the fact that they're close to Fairy's goal and he's thinking, yeah, I could score this. This looks like a fairly good opportunity. Um, you know, the Rocket League field is so small, Fairy Peak can score just as easily. You'll notice, by the way, every time that Scrub Killer goes off the wall or um, makes any play in the air, Fairy Peak, without hesitation, goes up and just goes straight for the ball. Without hesitation. He goes straight up for the ball. Fastest route possible. Uh, no delay. Uh, because Fairy Peak knows if you try and react to an opposition making an aerial or an opposing player making an aerial play, that's when you get outplayed by things like flip resets. And um, <laughs> Scrub's not happy about this one. Outplayed by things like flip resets. And the like. Look at that speed by Fairy. He's just right, right behind Scrub, even though Scrub doesn't expect it. And Scrub gets this boost and he's feeling, okay, I've got 100 boosts. I should, I'll get this boost as well. Oh, whoops. Not uh, paying attention to Fairy Peak's position. Because Fairy Peak had lost some momentum there, even though he didn't have boost. He's still running uh, fairly fast. Really good speed. You, uh, you should sell merchandise. People can buy it, Johnny Boy. I'm thinking, what if I made merch, what would you guys want me to make? I don't even know what I would make. Cat Murphy, thanks for the 15 months in a row. Welcome back. What just happened? How does he get Fairy's Pub in the replay? I think it's a mod called Backy's Mod. Uh, it's a little bit unfortunate by Scrub. He did get tripped here. Um, where was it? Yeah, I'll just watch it from here. 
Nose March? I don't know about that. Yeah, so Scrub got tripped up there. It's, it is a feels bad man goal, no doubt. Who do I think is going to win? Well, Scrub told me what the score was earlier before I could watch these, so I already know. Um, but I don't know the order. I don't know who wins what game. I do know the final score, though. I don't know who comes out on top and rank, though, uh, in terms of points. That was fairly close. Wow, okay. <laughs> to, to put a fast shot on the net there in a 1v1 is not that easy. So, you know, credit to Scrub. That was a fairly good shot. It had to be perfect in order for it to work. Um, and perfect it was not. That was actually a rare occasion. Oh, feels bad. That was a rare occasion. The, the previous aerial play that Scrub went for. Uh, Fairy didn't contest it. And the reason he didn't contest it is because he was thinking to himself, Scrub's probably going to miss this. Uh, even a player as good as Scrub is probably missing this uh, double touch most of the time. Okay, we didn't... Okay, we're just going to forfeit. That's a really early forfeit by Scrub. He's not sticking around in games that he's behind at all. I'm surprised to see that. I'm very surprised to see that. If this was another player in ranked, if this was anybody except Fairy Peak, I think Scrub stays in this game and he tries to make the comeback. Um, but this game, or these games against Fairy, whenever he goes like three, four goals behind, he's, uh, there's not that much time. There's like a minute left, minute 30. Uh, Scrub just doesn't believe in the comeback, which is, uh, that tells me a lot. All right, this should be the last game, uh, guys. Fairy Peak 3-2 in games on, on stream today, in ranked today. I just realized that the chat is uh, behind Scrub's cheer bot thing cheer cheer cup you know i would love to see i i would love to see scrub put into more pressure on the ball like he did in game one i think his game one posturing was much better than it than it uh, than it is now it's got it's gotten a bit lazy i would say as the games have dragged on he's um backing off a lot more the first goal here though by fairy was fantastic a great delayed flick has to be said um that doesn't mean the scrub can't make it more difficult for Fairy to score. Right, tra trading kickoff goals feels bad. Johnny Boy Bobblehead has said, said his bubble, his nose bubbles, and is insanely huge. That would be pretty good, actually. Got the Johnny Boy name under the logo and the merch icon, I reckon. I don't know if I want to make Johnny Boy t shirts. Another kickoff goal. This is Rocket League. <laughs> How uh, do you sub Johnny? If you sub, use the exclamation mark sub command. Uh, in chat and then click it. Thanks CKT Div for the kind words. I do, I do appreciate that a lot. And Nate Nate bye Nate B. Thanks for the prime sub also. All right, Scrub Killer giving Fairy Peak a taste of his own medicine here with the um with the delayed 50-50 neutralizing that ball. So let's summarize Fairy Peak so far and talk about what he could have done better, what he did well. Well, what he did well and what he could have done better, maybe. So, what he did well is um, put Scrub in really awkward positions. Give Scrub a lot of difficult decisions to make in defense. Primarily, um, with regard boost or ball. He keeps the ball in awkward places, constantly threatening shots, constantly um, threatening uh, dribbling plays. So that Scrub Killer has to choose between boost and ball. And Scrub Killer has made the mistake of going for boost uh, too many times this game. Too many times the series, I should say. It's another low 50 50 win for Scrub, two in a row. Um, in the low, in the delayed 50 50 department. Shy RL, thanks to the Twitch Prime sub, by the way. Welcome to the stream. Appreciate all the support today, guys. I know that, that the review content is not for everybody, but I just wanted to watch these games and I thought, why not watch them on stream? and talk about them with you guys, because I was going to watch them anyway. And I know a lot of you want to see these, and wouldn't have been aware of them um, if I don't stream it. The wave dash there by Scrub, just to make sure that he gets away from Fairy before pulling the trigger on the shot. Johnny Boy Bubble Nose. I wonder how expensive those are to make. They're probably really expensive. 
Okay, now Scrub's gonna pressure with no boost. I like this. Or low boost. And he gets the boost as a reward. Oh, sneaky, sneaky Fairy Peak. I don't think Scrub's... Uh, he wouldn't go back in time. Fairy Peak missed, so it's all good. And Fairy Peak is out. He's just forfeited for missing an open net. <laughs> he said, whoops. Did he mean to do that? Was this an accidental forfeit for Fairy, or is this just like, okay, I suck, I'm out, you deserve this game, because I literally just missed this open net. <laughs> and then he just forfeits. Do you reckon Fairy forgot that forfeiting in 1v1 uh, ends the game? Because sometimes people miss these kind of shots in 2v2 and 3v3, and they just forfeit. So it brings up the vote to forfeit. Uh, but here, obviously, it's just a GG. As far as I know, that is the final match between Scrub and Fairy. Looks like Scrub Killer. Finished off on 15-10. He got 9 points for that, that last win. So Fairy Peak probably finished off on 15-12. Something like that. And so they're pretty much trading even. Um, in the 4th, 5th, 6th range of the leaderboard. Ahmed uh, still out in front for Europe. I'm going to say he's out in front for Europe. I mean he's out in front for the European server. The man's actually from uh, the Middle East. And he's playing with 130 ping. And he's still all the way up here. Mechtos in the car and Lion Blaze battling it out for... Um, US. Let's see. Oh, yeah, so more games against Ixo. Um, and then there's more 1v1 against Lorely. If you guys want to see this again, just go check it out on twitch.tv forward slash scrub. Um, you'll need to go to the video section. Oh, he plays against Khaled as well. That's another um, Middle Eastern player who's very good at ones. What else do we have for. Okay, I'm back into 2v2. So, yeah, definitely check that out if you want to see some more um, Rocket League content. Uh, in particular, high level ranked 1v1. Now, you will get a better viewing experience if you download the video. I, I'll tell you that much. That's what I did there. I downloaded the video um, and watched it on on my PC instead of watching it on Twitch. Because the Twitch VODs are not very good. In case you're not sure um, how to get to the videos, just go to the Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash scrub, and then click on the videos button in the top left, and that'll take you to it.